All right, guys, so today we are going to be taking on the new Black Star Dragon Ball Saga stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history for the first time. And as always, the goal in these videos is to clear all the missions within our first run, which means that for this stage, we have to have at least three GT heroes and three space traveling warriors category units on the team. And that's why the team is a little bit weird. Right, we got the double Bojack leads. We have LR Nappa and Vegeta, uh, the Fizz Easy A Vegeta, and then LRB Pan, LR GT Trio, and SDR Pan. And that's what we're gonna go with. Am I a little bit concerned about this team's ability to clear the stage? A little bit, a little bit. If I'm being honest, I'm mainly worried about the GT units, but there weren't a lot of options when it came to space traveling warriors and GT heroes units so we went with these three I think they'll be okay I think the uh, Nappa and Vegeta as well as the GT trio and maybe the Bojax too will carry us a little bit and uh, it'll be okay it'll be okay so with all that said let's jump right into it and get this run started and uh, hopefully we get some good RNG, hopefully get some good rotations here. Um, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. We got the Pan and B-Pan on the second rotation, which is what I want. And uh, eventually I want to get the Nappa and Vegeta and the Fizz Vegeta together too. So, okay, first turn, we can get an 18 key super for the LR right there. Um, who links better? Let me see. Oh, they don't link at all. I didn't realize these guys did not link at all. All right, so let's do that for sure. And uh, if I remember correctly, the GT Trio does hit very hard. So that's nice. And here we go. Okay, so taking 54 damage, 3.3 mil from the LR Nappa and Vegeta. Um, I think they're actually fairly underrated. You know, like I, I was one of those people that kind of bashed Nappa and Vegeta pretty hard earlier on. But now that I've used them for like an extended period of time, um, I'm actually pretty impressed with them. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with them. Hopefully we can get that Vegeta exchange sooner than later. Because obviously for these like single target stages, uh, the, the Vegeta is much better than the Nappa, right? So, okay, not, not bad so far. Not bad so far. Uh, let's get... Let's get, um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm a let the, the pan, the, not the B pan, but the pan attack first so that she can stack some defense. She's starting off with 109,000 defense. She does build defense with each attack, I think up to six turns. So we wanna make sure she has, you know, that defense going at all times because otherwise we might be in a little bit of trouble. LRB pan obviously can be a good tank, but, um, it's RNG based, right? It's a high chance to get that damage reduction. So that also scares me. It's, it's like the the RNG from these pans, man, that really worry me because the the uh, Fizz pan, or sorry, not Fizz pan, the STR pan can also dodge, but it's not like a super high, wait, is it? Up to 40%, hold on. It's been a while since I've used her, let me check. Uh, chance to evade any attacks. Plus 15% at the start of each turn. Oh, up to 60%. Okay. Never mind. She's a lot more dependable than I thought. All right. So up to 60% after four appearances, which we'll obviously see in this video. So uh, that that's that's good. That that's actually really good. All right. So I'm I'm less concerned now. I'm I'm a little bit less concerned now. All right. Now obviously with this Vegeta, we want him to stack as much defense as possible. We want him to attack as many times as possible. So give me an addition. Oh, we got the additional. We need the super though. We need additional supers. All right, yeah, so that Vegeta, as you guys know, he does stack attack and defense with every attack or every super. But uh, if you're not getting those, you know, those super attacks, then it could be, be kind of rough. Okay, so this guy is not allowing us to change our rotations, which I don't think is a huge deal, honestly. Um, should I pop the active skill is the question. Is it too early? Does it matter? Let's pop it. Let's pop it. Why not? We'll do, we'll do it for one of them. I think I'll keep my, my Bojack 
as uh, just regular Bojack, so he can still support. But having a full power Bojack, I think, is actually going to be good just for tanking and damage. So, yeah, I think that was a good call. And then we can use B-Pan to hopefully heal us for a bit of damage. I'm going to save that active skill for her until later on when we uh, really need it. Alright, so, so far, I think this is going well. I was a bit nervous about it. I was a bit concerned. I think in terms of damage, we got enough damage output. But it's the defense that does still concern me a bit. We got the dodge nice. I think right now she has a 30% chance to dodge, so that's solid. And um, yeah, we got some decent damage output, but I don't know if we have enough damage output to actually um, beat the, the mission where you have to finish it within a certain amount of turns. I think it's 20 turns. I think you have to beat it in 20 turns to clear that mission. So we can beat everything else, but we might not be able to get... Oh, crap. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I should have let Fizz, Fizz Vegeta attack first. That was a wasted, wasted turn. He could have stacked defense again. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Well, that sucks, but what can you do? It is what it is. Okay, um... Let me see. I'm probably actually gonna keep Pan. I'm gonna probably keep Pan. Did he seal every? Oh, he sealed everybody. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter then. Um, okay, so we're sealed. He has very little HP, as you can see. But it's just really annoying, like when when they do that. I hate stages like this. You know, like in in Battlefield when you face the the Bobbity, right? You can only attack him with uh, normals. It just is annoying. It's not hard. It's just annoying. But he's almost. He's like half dead, so yeah, it's not a big deal, not a big deal. Sadly, we can't super with the Fizz Vegeta again, really sucks. Uh, um, alright, alright, we should be able to get through this after the Nappa and Vegeta attack. By the way guys, let me know in the comments down below which teams you guys used to beat this stage. I, I definitely don't feel like this is like the best possible team I could have brought, you know? It was just something I threw together, like, just now. Like, literally five minutes ago, I was just, like, looking through my Space Traveling Warriors units. And I was like, there's not a lot of options here for, um, for, you know, like, GT Heroes as well. So these were the best ones, in my opinion, that I could have chose. But maybe there's a better combination out there. If you guys pulled the new Goku and Vegeta, then, of course, you probably, you, you, you probably have better options. Because I, I couldn't pull them. I tried last night. Spoilers for anybody that missed the video. By the way, feel free to go check it out. Through the link above my head. The stream I did last night. I really tried, man. It just... It didn't happen for me. So I couldn't use the Goku or the Vegeta. Um, I feel like if you had those guys, you could probably do like a combination of Goku's family and GT Heroes. Although, how many units do we have that are in Space Traveling Warriors? And also... Goku's family slash GT heroes. Yeah, it's probably just these ones, right? It's probably just pans for the most part. I think it might, I might, it might just be pans. I don't think there are any Gokus in Space Traveling Warriors. Unless there's somebody I'm not thinking of, which is possible. Which is possible. But uh, yeah, my point is, my point is I couldn't use those guys. I think they would have helped, but maybe not a ton. Okay, so now we're definitely going to let... Um, Hmm, actually, I I'm going to leave Vegeta in the second slot. We should definitely leave Vegeta in the second slot, because his defense is still super low right now. If he takes a super, it's going to be bad news for us. So, I'm going to leave him there. Still taking pretty well with the Nappa. That's good to see. Okay. Not doing a lot of damage, that's okay though. We're on turn 9 right now, That's that's not great. We, we definitely want to, you know, pick up the pace a bit just because there's that turn restriction with the mission. So we have 11 more turns, guys. 11 more turns to get this done. If I, if I can't, then, I mean, it is what it is. I, I can't, but 
it just sucks, man. I, 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 I really want to be able to beat, uh, beat all the missions in, in one go. I can obviously come back with a super OP team. Like after, after we do this, I can literally come back with any team I want and uh, clear it. I could do like a Kamehameha team, right? Or I could do a, a Realm of Gods team or whatever. Like just, just a super OP team, eat it within like 10 turns or whatever. But that's not fun. There's no challenge in that. And that's why I always try to, you know, do it in the first clear. Uh, let's see. All right, Vegeta's defense is a little bit better, but still not amazing. This guy takes a while to build up, huh? He really does. He, he, he takes... He takes much longer than you would like. But that's... That's fine, I guess. All right, getting supered. We have type advantage, though. 61k is totally okay. I am, of course, also trying to go for the no item run. I don't know if that's going to happen. If I have to use an item, if I if I feel like I'm gonna die, then I'll definitely pop the item. We have a uh, Ghost Usher, or not go we have a uh, Aider and a Princess Snake ready to go. But if I can if I can you know, stay away from using items, that's always preferable because it's always a little bit more impressive if you can beat it without the items. Right? Ooh, good damage, good damage there. All right, 1.7 mil from Vegeta. Crit. No crit additional, no additional either. All right. So we're not getting the greatest RNG. We're not getting the greatest RNG. We are getting the dodges though. So at least, at least that's going for us. And we're also getting some uh, good defense from the Bojacks with big bad bosses. Active, wait, hold on. This guy has max, yes. Okay, yeah, so big bad bosses activated for both of them. That's at least looking very good. Let's give him seven orbs for that full passive. And uh, just let him finish the job. This, sh this should be enough. I think. Yeah, that, that's enough. That's enough. 5.8 mil STR Bojack. Let's go. Yo, anybody that's been sleeping on this man, you gotta better wake up. You better wake up. Stop sleeping on STR Bojack, guys. I know not everyone is. I know a lot of you guys realize just like how good he is already. But, you know, not everyone does. I gotta, we, we gotta make sure to remind these people that STR Bojack is actually awesome, man. Just because he's Bojack, just because he's not a character that like a lot of people really love doesn't mean he's not amazing. He is. He really is. Anyways, let's focus on the run here. Um, I think we got three more enemies. Do we three? Yeah, I know, because there's two Rildos. There's two Rildos. So this is the third last guy. We got seven more turns. It's going to be very close. We're cutting it very, very close. I'm getting a little bit concerned. Like, it, it, the problem is, like, the pans don't do any damage. Oh, my God, please. Please. Damage reduction. Oh, God. Okay. Well, obviously, that was not how we wanted it to go. <laughs> Clearly, I would have preferred if we had tanked, you know, a, a little bit better. But that's okay. That's okay. We got this still. We got this still. The Bojacks got our back. 5.1 mil. Nice. Would have been more if he had six orbs, so we couldn't get that. 5.1 mil. Give me a crit. No crit additional. Additional. Okay, two additionals, no super. One more. Wait, can he super three times? Or, no, he can super three times. Can he super four times is the question. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's, it's been a minute. All right, either way, he's dead. Either way, he's dead. Oh, 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 oh. Exchange time. Exchange time. All right, this what I, was, was what I was waiting for. I haven't seen this animation in forever, guys. I haven't... I haven't seen this animation forever. This guy's a beast. I'm excited. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's see this defense now. Defense at 142,000. Okay. Uh, 42,000 for the GT Trio. That's not good. That's definitely not good. But all right, it, it's okay. It's okay. The Vegetas will carry us. Um... And they do raise defense on their on their super, so it, sh it will be a bit higher after we super. Okay, four mil from Vegeta. 
Beautiful animation, man. I love that Gallic Gun animation. Additional, not a super. Really great tanking, beautiful. 2.1 mil from Fizz Vegeta. Oh, you better give me an additional super, man. Come on. You've been disappointing me all. All right. Now I'm really scared the super is gonna come here because we didn't get supered on the first two slots. He might not super us this turn, but I am concerned. All right, 25k. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Um, we can give him three orbs. His defense is 248k. Um, not great, but okay. Not great, but okay. And then we'll give five orbs to B Pen. B Pen, please, please activate that passive. Just the one time. Activate that passive. Because after this, we're not we're not, you know, at a type disadvantage anymore. So it's not really as big of a deal. But right now with the AGL real though, he could kill us with all those attacks. He could kill us for sure. Damn we gotta dodge off. Of course we don't dodge the super though. That's a dodge normal attack. Well, at the very least, we know that B Pan's not gonna get supered, so even if she doesn't get the damage reduction, um, I don't think the normals will kill us. That's gotta be with damage reduction. That, that's gotta be with damage reduction. All right, nice, nice, I'll take that. Uh, ooh, look at that, Vegeta's defense is getting up there. We can trust him now, so let's put him in the front. Keep stacking that defense. We need that because uh, the, the next real though is going to be STR. We're on turn 17, guys. We got three more turns. We got three more turns, which means that it, it's close. <laughs> That's what it means. We're cutting it very close. But I'm glad we got the AGL Vegeta. So with him, he should make pretty easy work of the real though. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, here we go, guys. Last stage, turn 18. I'm worried, I'm worried. Oh, he locked. No, that is bad. That is bad news. Um, we're gonna pop a Princess Snake right now. Like, yeah, 61k defense. I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna let them take take all those hits with with defense like that. And then, should I pop this? Ugh, I don't know, cause they got so many links. Like, I don't want to stop getting links. I guess I'm gonna keep it. And also, we get more defense because of the support too. So, yeah, no, we're, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. All right, let's see what kind of damage. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, that was so clutch. That was so clutch. Do you see how much damage we still took, though, with the Princess Snake? Do you guys see that? Even with the Princess Snake, we're still, we are still still took like 40k or something like that. Um, now, obviously, after raising defense, it's better. But if we hadn't dodged the super and I hadn't used an item, we could have been in big trouble. That, that, that could have been really, really bad. Bro, come on, with all the additional attacks, not even one super. All the additional attacks, not even one additional super. Like, stop, stop being a tease, man. We got this, though. We got this, though. Okay, turn 19 coming up. Turn 19 coming up. Um, I'm obviously going to put the LR Vegeta there. Uh, hmm. It would have been nice to get him a 24k super, but we couldn't do it. It's a, oh, why didn't I pop the active skill? I was saving the B pen active skill for this turn. I forgot to use it. I forgot to use it. Well, I'm an idiot. Yo, I'm an idiot. All right, what can you do? It's over. You know, what's done is done. What's done is done. Crit. Okay, additional. I got the additional. Not a super though. We need this Vegeta to crit right now. Please? Ah, uh, okay, so. Is it, is it, is it 
within 20 turns or do you have to be less than 20 turns does it have to be 19 turns I, I think 20 turn 20 is okay right I think turn 20 is okay we'll find out soon because we're on turn 20 we are gonna definitely finish this on turn 20 but um yeah I don't know if that's good enough I'm not, I'm not sure if that's good enough we'll see this super will definitely get the job done unless he dodged oh he can dodge I forgot he can dodge. He didn't dodge. Okay. <laughs> he didn't dodge. Thank God. <laughs> there we go. He's dead. Did we clear all the missions? Let's find out. Let's find out. It's going to be close, man. I mean. It says 14 missions. There's a team. In case you guys wanted to just get a full view or screenshot it to use for yourself if you want to. Uh, we used one support item. Just one. But I think it was smart, Ashley, in that situation. And uh, I think we did it. I th Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, we did it. There we go. Within 20 turns. So that means you can be on turn 20 when you clear it. And still get your reward. So 27 stones for missions, one stone from the clear, 28 stones in total. And that's that. That is the new Black Star Dragon Ball Saga stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History, done with one team in one run, my first run, as you guys saw. And uh, yeah, you know, it, it went about as well as I could have asked for. Um, obviously, you guys can use other teams. You can use two separate teams. You could do like a GT Heroes team and then do a Space Traveling Warriors team separately and still get everything done. It's just, it's just going to take you a little bit longer, but I just like the challenge of, uh, you know, forcing myself to do one team, one run. It's just more fun that way. So there you have it, guys. Not too bad overall. I would say, um, you know, it, it, it's somewhat of a challenge, but not really much harder than any of the other Infinite Dragon Ball history stages we've seen or you know received uh, in the past year or so. So uh, not bad, not bad. Once again, let me know in the comments down below what teams you guys used to beat it in one run if you did do that. And that's it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media Signing out.